Hey Killer Bees, it's Paula B from PaulaBeeFitness.com and on tap today I've got an all seated, all arms, all cardio workout for us. Let's go ahead and get started warming up with some nice big arm circles while I tell you about the day. Oh my goodness, already feeling that stiffness in my shoulders which is why we always start with a good warm up. You know, we're not trying to move fast right now, all we're doing is getting our arms and our shoulder joints through their full range of motion at a gentle pace and that might mean slower than me. It might mean faster than me, depending on how stiff and sore you are today. I've got a lot of tension in my shoulders and I am really feeling it. So I'm working kind of carefully, trying to make sure that I get those muscles warmed up, get the joint kind of loosened up and lubricated before we really get going because my friends, we are gonna really get going today. Now, here's the dealio behind this workout. I received this well, okay, you know what? It wasn't even a suggestion, honestly. It was a compliment thanking me for my seated workouts, paired with a comment talking about how, you know, like all seated workouts, that this person had to modify a bit because they are unable to move their lower body. And so therefore, modified the exercises that I was doing to be arms only. And I've thought about this, oh my gosh, I received that comment an embarrassingly long time ago, honestly. I've been thinking about it ever since then, and I knew that I wanted to make a workout especially for you if you do not just have limited mobility, but no mobility in your lower body at all. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers as well. Because the fact is, it is my goal to help you get your best workout, no matter what your fitness level, no matter where you're starting, no matter where you've been, no matter what you do, to help you get a great, great workout. Also, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gonna be one of those days. Miss Agatha here is full of beans today, so don't mind her if she's eating the plant in the background, running around, being crazy. It's just that sort of a day. We're gonna just go ahead and do our own thing, no matter what she's doing. Here's the dealio. I've got the handy dandy gym boss here right next to me, set for intervals of 50 seconds of work. Yeah, five zero, and just 10 seconds of rest. Let's go ahead and do some elbow digs as well. Really thinking about hinging forward a little bit, getting those abs all tight, nice and control, pulling in that core. This is still a warm up. We're not moving super fast just yet. Starting to feel my heart rate coming up though. But so 50 seconds of work, just 10 seconds of rest. And I've got a nice long handful of exercises for us that only require the use of our upper body to get our heart rate up, 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 up. Now here's the thing, I'm feeling pretty warmed up. If you are not, go ahead and scrub back through these warm up exercises again. But when you're ready for it, my friend, I'm totally ready. Let's go. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get moving. And yes, I took that break to shoo Agatha off of the couch. We're gonna get started with something I call reach across, which is exactly what it sounds like. We're gonna reach across your body and across your body, just a little bit higher than shoulder height each time. Let's go ahead and get moving. Now, with this interval set at 50 seconds and just 10 seconds of rest, it means that I'm really thinking about managing my heart rate today. I am warmed up. I'm definitely feeling like I'm ready to go. I wanna get some good cardio today. but you you know, these first couple of exercises, I always kind of take them at an extended warm-up pace because the fact is your heart rate's going to come up. I mean, with long work intervals and short rest intervals, your heart rate's totally going to come up today. You don't need to get it spiked immediately. It's totally okay to take all or some or part of the workout at a kind of moderate pace. You know, I think a lot of us feel like we have to go hard all the time. If you're exercising, you might as well be exercising at top speed. And the fact is, your body is perfectly happy to be moving at a moderate speed for a moderate amount of time. Here's 10 seconds of rest before we do jumping jack arms, which is again, exactly what it sounds like, as though we are doing jumping jacks, but it's only our arms. So out to the side, we're flapping our hands up and down. Nice and quick on this one, because it is a pretty simple motion. This one's gonna get your heart rate up real fast fast though. Every time we have our hands up above our heads, it raises our heart rate. So 
in that vein, we're gonna get a lot of bonus upper body toning today because we are gonna have our hands above our head for, yeah, pretty much the entire <laughs> workout today. Nice and quick on this one. The quick motion also helps bring your heart rate up. You know, we're trying our best to burn some calories today, which helps us burn fat, helps our heart and lungs stay nice and healthy. Good and quick, nice full range of motion on this, getting those hands hopefully to touch all the way at the top, getting your biceps up near your ears. Excellent job. Woo, and 10 seconds of rest. All right, two exercises down. Coming up next, we're gonna do single peekaboos. And what that means is we're gonna have our elbows at shoulder height and elbows facing right in front of your face. We're gonna open up on one side, then open up on the other. The trick here is to keep your elbow at shoulder height the entire time. So hand is above your head by a fair amount. Your forearms are right in front of your face. That's why I call them peekaboos, because if we were moving you know, both hands at the same time, it would be kind of like playing peekaboo with a small child. You're covering your face and then you're opening it up. Now, of course, you are feeling the upper body and upper back toning in this one. Oh my gosh, keeping that elbow at shoulder height is getting my heart rate up just because those muscles in my back are working, working, working. Of course, moving fast is helping with that high heart rate too. Doing such a good job. When it beeps again, we will get to put those arms down. Whew, if only briefly. <laughs> Excellent. All right, coming up next. Coming up next, we're doing something I call the backstroke because that's exactly what it looks like. We're gonna start with our hands up. We're gonna do one nice big arm circle on one side and then another on the other side. So hands meet in the middle, trying to get that arm all the way back behind you, looking exactly, well, okay, you know what? We're not looking exactly like we're swimming because the fact is, do you know what? I can't even do the backstroke. I am not, I'm not a great swimmer. I do like to be in the water. I enjoy especially being on the water. Love to kayak, love to be near water, love to go to the ocean and look at it. Not a great swimmer though, so this may or may not look anything like a backstroke, but it's definitely getting my heart rate up, feeling like really good cardio. Nice and big, awesome job. Ooh, doggies, having our hands up all day. Definitely bringing my heart rate up. Nice and quick, nice big circle. Really controlling that core, okay. <sighs> Coming up next, <laughs> we're gonna have our hands up again. Of course, we're gonna do something I call punch up, punch out. Can you guess what that's gonna look like? We're gonna punch up and punch out, up and out. And you know, I'm meaning to actually alternate my leader hand, which means I've really gotta think about this. When we punch up and punch out, I'm trying really hard to lead with a different hand each time. This is a workout for my brain <laughs> as well as my body. I know you can see me messing up here. I'm going to be quiet for a second so I can actually think about this. And out. <laughs> punch up. Punch out. <laughs> You know, you know, might as well laugh at myself, am I right? <laughs> the faster you can move, I hope you're not actually trying to like follow along with me exactly because this is tough stuff. But the faster you can move, even if you are messing up, even if your hands are just going willy nilly out and up and whatever, you're still getting a great workout. <laughs> 10 seconds of rest. Thank goodness. Coming up next, we're gonna do letter X's, which again is kind of exactly what it sounds like. We're gonna have our hands nice and wide for the top part of the letter X, and then nice and low for the bottom part of the X. Now I'm crossing my hands over each other on the bottom part here, and really trying to think about crossing a different way each time. Now this motion, kind of small on the bottom part here, but having a different hand over the top or a different arm over the top really does change very subtly how your muscles are moving, really thinking about pulling from those upper and middle back muscles and then squeezing from your chest muscles to make that lower part of the X in front of you. I am tipping forward just a little bit, which is really engaging my core as well. Hands are moving super fast, feeling real sweaty at this point. We are, we are about halfway, maybe even a little bit past halfway through my list, which means we ha, 
are making real good progress. All right, coming up next, something I call roller coasters. And what that means is we're gonna have our hands together. We're gonna start with our hands next to our knee on one side. We're gonna swoop up and over, making a big circle overhead, and then reach down towards the other knee on the other side. Really, really, really feeling this one in your abs and obliques. That big circle overhead really challenges your abs from all directions. And of course, having your hands overhead. Hey, you know what that does? Uh-huh, it raises our heart rate. <laughs> nice and fast, feeling like a big swooping roller coaster. <sighs> Great job. Oh my goodness, nice and fast on this one means I'm really thinking about pulling in that core. You know, when we twist and swoop like this, it's real easy to accidentally hurt your back. If you need to slow down just a little bit and make sure that your abs are pulled in tight, that's totally okay. We can still get great cardio at 10 seconds of rest at any pace. I promise if you're moving your body, you're bringing your heart rate up. Coming up next is frog reaches. That means we're gonna reach up high and we're gonna reach down low, hinging forward. Again, really thinking about squeezing those abs. We're reaching, well, I'm saying towards the ground. I'm not touching the ground. I'm nowhere near the ground. I know you can't actually see very much of my lower body today, and that was on purpose. We're not moving our lower bodies, but I'm getting my hands down around like my shins, maybe my ankles. It's not really about how low you reach. It's about how quickly you reach low and then reach high. So of course, we're definitely going to reach high up above your head, bringing that heart rate up, getting those biceps right next to your ears each and every time. Really feeling my shoulders actually loosening up. Isn't that nice how sometimes when we start off the day all stiff and sore and tired, that just moving your body sometimes, ah, 10 seconds of rest, sometimes actually helps it feel better. I love that. Coming up next, we're going to do windmills, which again is a reaching motion, but this time we're reaching across your body. So hands are wide. We're reaching across and down towards the opposite shin or ankle, or in this case, just past my knees. Again, that twisting motion means that we want to be real careful with our core. Pull that belly button in towards your spine. Getting a good twist means that you're working not just your abdominals, but also your obliques. Your obliques are what I would call, <laughs> well, okay, okay, I'm old enough and old fashioned enough, I would call it your girdle. <laughs> I know for some of you, you're like, what's a girdle? Well, a long time ago, in olden days, women used to wear this thing that pulled in their waists. <laughs> Actually, it's a lot like a waist trainer. Oh, there we go. That's something that, that's something that young people would know today. <laughs> It pulls in your waist, but your obliques ah, are actually muscles that pull in your waist. 10 seconds of rest and then coming up next. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm calling this one whirly gigs because it actually looks like an egg beater. We're making big circles above our heads. So your hands are up towards the ceiling the entire time. We're making a circle one way and then coming back the other way. That stopping short motion means that you're really engaging your core, of course, having your hands up above your head the entire time means that we're really working on those shoulders, your upper back, and of course, the heart and lungs while we're moving nice and fast. Great job. These are, I wouldn't call them big circles. Actually, this is kind of more like a medium circle because I do want your hands up more than out. So we're just, who just, no, we're making some medium sized circles as quickly as we can. And this got tough. But I tell you what, first of all, you're tougher. And second of all, it's tough because we are really, really close to the end of my list. And in fact, this next exercise, I almost called it a song. That was really weird. This next exercise is the last one. It's forward hinge arm flappers. So hands up overhead. We're making a jumping jack motion with our hands out to the side, big half circle on each side while hinging forward. I know this one, it means that we are engaging literally every single muscle that we possibly can. Holding in your core, working your upper back, your middle back, your lower back, working your chest muscles, and oh yes, working that heart and lungs as we go up and down fast as you can. Actually, 
a fair amount faster than when we started this circuit, am I right? And oh yeah, I just used that word circuit, didn't I? Because we are indeed gonna get through my entire list of exercises one more time. Only two times through this circuit. It's not a bad workout today. And in fact, it's a really good workout today because we're doing it. 10 seconds of rest. <sighs> your heart rate under control and we're going to start again from those reach across which you will realize it's a little bit easier this time. Boy, we are warmed up, reaching across at about shoulder height. If you wanna reach higher, that's okay too. If you need to reach lower, if your heart rate has gotten real high, and sometimes it does. I mean, that cumulative effect, that long period of work with a short period of rest, even if we're moving at a moderate pace the entire time during the work interval, your heart rate has drifted up, 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 up with every interval. The lower your hands are, the more your heart rate will come back down. So help yourself to whatever kind of up hands or low hands you need to make this workout work for you. When it beeps, we will get 10 seconds of rest. Doing such a good job. And this is the last time we're gonna do reach across. I do love, there we go, 10 seconds of rest. I do love a two circuit workout because you can do something twice, as long as we don't have to do it again. Coming up next is those jumping jack arms. So here we go, flapping those arms. Oh, doesn't that feel easier without that forward hinge? I know, this is actually, I do like a circuit workout sometimes. I'm a, generally speaking, I'm a no repeat kind of girl, but I also, no, you know what, I do like to repeat also because it's kind of nice to see that you have improved on the second round. And it's also kind of nice if you've done my workouts before when you can tell at the beginning of a circuit that an exercise really was a little bit easier than maybe it felt the first time through. And if you haven't done my workouts before, hi, welcome, I'm Paula B. This is what we do. <laughs> I do hope that you'll subscribe so that we can work out together again too. When it beeps again, we're gonna get 10 seconds of rest. Great job. Nice and fast. Ah, all right, coming up next is those single peekaboos. So this is the one where our elbows were at shoulder height the entire time. Whew, hands in front of your face, gonna open up one peekaboo at a time. Peekaboo and peekaboo. Just one side and then the other. Nice and quick. Really thinking, obviously about pulling in your core. Anytime your hands are up above your shoulder height, you should have your core pulled in. And really, you know, I say that, honestly, there's no time when you don't want to at least be mildly engaging your core. It's a good idea to engage your core as much of the day as you possibly can, even while you're sitting, even, well, not necessarily while you're laying down. That is a nice time to rest your core. But even while you're sitting, if you can sit up straight and tall, pulling in those core muscles really helps protect your back. When it beeps again, we're gonna get 10 seconds of rest. Really feeling this in my triceps and biceps. Oh my goodness. We're working our chest and back as well. Ah, but I'm really feeling it right there, right there in my tank top muscles. Coming up next, we're gonna do the backstroke again, more or less. <laughs> Your backstroke might look a whole lot better than mine. Hands up, gonna swing it really nice and wide behind you. Now, if you are getting a little bit of a twist in your spine, that's totally okay. If that helps you reach back nice and big and helps you remember to engage your core. That means that you're actually getting a little bit of oblique work in there too, which is awesome. I know you never really thought about how much you're toning your muscles when you're doing cardio, huh? I think a lot of people think that cardio is all about your heart and lungs, but the fact is anytime you're moving your body, you're toning your muscles a little bit or a lot. For example, with all of the above the head or above the shoulder work that we've got going on today, you're gonna feel this in your shoulders tomorrow, I promise. This is not just heart and lung work. This is absolutely all kinds of upper body work. When it beeps again, we're gonna get 10 seconds of rest. Ah, oh, where we get to put our hands down. Okay, coming up next. I'm gonna try really hard to just be quiet through this whole one so that I can think about it. It's the punch up, punch out, trying to lead with a different leader hand each time. So punch up, punch out, punch out. And yes, I do actually have to say it like that every time. I know, I know. I'm, 
I'm more than a little bit uncoordinated. I'm not a lot, but I am mostly uncoordinated. There's a reason why my workouts are super simple. It's because I just simply do not have the coordination to make things more difficult than this. If this is super easy for you, I am so happy for you. You might enjoy like dance cardio or something that requires a little bit more mind-body connection. But this, my friends, is all I've got. <laughs> and I know, I've just not led with a different leader hand two times in a row. Remember when I said I was gonna be quiet? I never am, I never ever am. 10 seconds of rest and coming up next is those roller coasters. Hands together, we're gonna to start on one side. Doesn't matter which way you twist to first. Doing a big swoopy swoop in the middle. Nice big roller coaster, Wee! Big circle up overhead really feeling it in my shoulders like I have been and in my upper and middle back. But this one for me really targets my abs and obliques because we're leaning forward a teeny tiny bit and really twisting from side to side. I'm definitely feeling it all throughout my middle and obviously heart and lungs. I mean, you guys, I'm sweating. <laughs> I got a nice sweat going on today, which is pretty much my favorite thing ever. When we do these seated workouts, I often have people tell me, oh, I thought seated workouts were super easy. No, no, my friend, they are not. <laughs> they are plenty sweaty. When it beeps again, we will get 10 seconds of rest. <sighs> Awesome. All right. All right. Coming up next. Oh my gosh. We're already. Okay. I love how fast the second circuit seems to go. We're already down to frog reaches. We only have like less than a handful of exercises left. So reach up and reach down. A little bit of a forward hinge here. Thinking about pulling in that core. Thinking about getting your hands all the way up, up, up in the air. Really feeling that mobility in your shoulder now. This is why we warmed up, you guys. You know, you know. If we didn't warm up first, do you know how difficult this would be? When we work out all those kinks, get all, well, not all the tension out of your shoulders, but when we started getting some of the tension out of our shoulders and bringing some blood flow to that area of our body, that's why we're able to do these exercises so well, so efficiently, so effectively. The warm up, my friends, is critical to a good workout. When it beeps again, whoo wee. 10 seconds of rest. Okay. <sighs> My heart rate came way up. This is what I was talking about. It's called cardiac drift, in case you care. It's where your heart rate just comes up, up, up. We're going to do windmills next. So hands are nice and wide in front of you. Oh, doggies. Hey, you know what? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just realized that I skipped an exercise. When I put my hands up like this, I was like, wait a second. We didn't do those letter X's. Well, my friends, I missed them after the punch up, punch out. I was so, so happy to be done with that punch up, punch out that I skipped right over them. So you know what? After these windmills, we're gonna go backwards a little tiny bit in our circuit so that we make sure that we get those letter X's because I really like those. They're fun. So here we go with those windmills. Though in the meantime, which was a nice reminder that we've got our hands nice and wide, reaching down, reaching across, nice and fast. Excellent job. You know, it happens to the best of us when we mess up on a workout. The fact is there, there's, nothing, there's nothing in us that's like, oh, that was wrong. We're not gonna get as good of a workout. Here we go with those letter X's. But it's nice when we do all of the exercises a second time, just so that we can A, make sure that we get you know, the full amount of time, but also so that we're really working our muscles from every angle. This letter X really works your chest, interestingly. A lot of our other exercises have been a little bit more upper back and middle back focused. This one where we're squeezing in front of you also really works your chest muscles as well. And that really helps us balance out the front and the back. Doing such a good job. Very nice, very fast, very sweaty. And let me scan my list here just to make sure I didn't miss anything else, right? I know that maybe that's why the second circuit was going so fast. <laughs> 
have some funny stuff. All right, you guys, 10 seconds of rest. And it looks like, okay, I don't think I missed anything else. So we're going to move on to whirly gigs. That's where we were making those medium sized circles straight up in the air. So circle one way and then circle back. Really thinking about kind of stopping that motion by really squeezing your muscles, squeezing from your chest and your upper back using that whole shoulder complex. All those muscles in there working together. No isolated exercises for us today. I tell you what, everything we're doing is plenty complex. Really working heart and lungs and just about every single muscle in our upper body, if not all at once, then most of them at once. Still engaging that core, of course. Whoo, doggies, really feeling this one in my heart and lungs. Having our hands up for the entire 50 seconds really feels tough at this point. When it beeps again, we will get 10 seconds of rest. Oh my goodness, and then we are moving on to the last exercise, ha, for the very last time. And that means that it's actually time for you to be making a choice. We're gonna do those forward hinge arm flappers as our last exercise in this workout. And that means that it's really kind of up to you what else you'd like to do with your day. You know, this was, this was a really nice length of workout today, just about 20 minutes. And that means that you absolutely, my friend, can be done if you'd like to, but you might not be finished. <laughs> On screen here in just a couple of seconds, I'm gonna have a finisher for you. And also, if you'd like to do a little bit more, if you're feeling really feisty and fired up today, I have another workout, another seated workout that doesn't require any equipment at all on the other side of the screen. There's also a link to go to Patreon if you'd like to sponsor a workout. And that helps me make free workouts for all of us. And in the other corner, there's a picture of my face. And that, my friends, is a subscribe button so that we can work out again next time. When you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification so that YouTube lets you know ha, every time I have a new workout. My friends, thank you so, so much for getting sweaty with me today. I had a great time and I hope you did too. Make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Agassiz, are you really going to do this today? I love you, pumpkin.